A huge chunk of this sport is, is mental because everyone knows how to do their dives physically. Everyone's strong enough, but it's just, um, it's, it's actually mentally visualizing it and, and putting it down when it counts. I was probably around five when that all started. It was just started at my summer pool and uh, one of the coaches there who, he uh, saw that I had some talent when it came to uh, doing ridiculous flips off boards and, and it sort of came a bit naturally to me. So he, he asked if I wanted to try out for the team. So I tried out and it just sort of took off and continued from there. Every competition for me personally, I get in feeling just as nervous as I was five years ago. I'm just as nervous, but I know how to sort of deal with the stress better. La préparation, surtout dans le monde du plongeon, je pense que c'est la chose la plus importante. On est un sport de répétition à la base, donc être préparé à une compétition, si tu as seulement pratiqué ton plongeon deux trois fois, ben les chances que tu sois en compétition sont très très faibles. Alors nous, qu'est-ce qu'il faut qu'on fasse? Il faut qu'on fasse les plongeons une centaine de fois, des milliers de fois, comme ça qu'on arrive en compétition, c'est presque un automatisme. Euh, tu finis ta pratique, tu peux aller dans le gym, as des préparateurs physiques qui sont là justement pour te préparer physiquement pour tes plongeons. Preparation, mentally preparation uh, is, is, is everything, but it, co it grows from everyday training. It grows from philosophy that you have towards what you're doing. And, and that preparation, it, it stays with you. So when you don't do a dive, so when you fail, it's just you fail in mental preparation. Physical preparation is, is the, the sport of diving. When you learn a dive, you always have it in your head. So it's, it's to be able to bring it out in the right moment at the right time. That's what the preparation is all about. And that's the difference between two very good talented divers. The ones that come on top is the one with the better mental preparation. I think the whole mindset of diving has changed over the past 10 years. Because as a young kid, I remember if I messed up a dive, I thought, okay, that's it, it's over. There's no point in trying. But through experience, I've kind of seen, you know, you miss a dive, but it's okay if you keep pushing and you have more dives to make up for it. When you've been training super hard for a certain amount of time, then the competition comes. And then the first dive you do in competition, you know, you, you mess up. It's really, really, uh, it's really frustrating because you put so much time and effort uh, and then, you know, you get into competition. It's like, why did I have to do it like that? You know, I've been doing it so good for uh, the past few months. And so, yeah, there's definitely a mental toughness you need to have to continue after that and pull through the competition. Because even if you you do your first dive bad, you still have the rest of the competition. It's not over yet. So yeah, there's definitely a mental toughness you have to sort of have to, to pull through. The amount of time they spend in the weight room, the amount of time they spend in the pool, the amount of time they spend in dry land. Um, they're training their bodies to be uh, ma machines, you know, And but to still have power and elegance and grace is really hard for the sport and these guys seem to be able to do it. Ben, c'est sûr que le plongeon, c'est complet comme sport. C'est um, quelque chose de très mental, physique, qui requiert beaucoup d'habileté, justement, de, de vraiment diversifier. Il faut que tu sois élégant, il faut que tu sois fort, mais en même temps que tu sois capable de tout assembler les pièces d'un puzzle pour faire ce qui est un bon plongeon. Ça demande aussi beaucoup de pratique. Je crois que faire quelque chose qui te passionne, puis d'investir du temps dans un but, c'est vraiment gratifiant. Puis je trouve que des fois, on ne sait pas trop où on s'en va dans la vie, puis le sport, c'est un bon moyen pour se fixer un objectif. Je trouve que le sport fait grandir, puis c'est vraiment quelque chose de nourrissant.